so that's money. The second one is, um, the second guy says, I owe him a thousand bushels of wheat. So the manager says, here, write one and take for only 800. So he gives back, he gives 200 bushels. That's more profit. And then, um, it says in verse 8, the rich man had, had to admire the dishonest rascal for being so shrewd. And it is true that the citizens of this world are more shrewd than the godly are. You get what that means? Like messed up, like like they're just a fool, like just messed up. Cause the point of this story is that he's trying to pay the dude back by getting it from somebody else that owes him better than himself. Right. So that's what makes him true. Right. You get what I'm saying? And the, huh? Um, well, and according to the end of the, the point of this particular story is the rich man had to admire the dishonest rascal for being so strewed. And it is true that the citizens of this world are more strewed than the godly are. But I guess the whole point of this story, and this is a good verse in chapter 16, verse 10, that says, unless you are faithful in small matters, you won't be faithful in large ones. That's where that is in the Bible. My mom always tells me that. You know, if you are, if you cheat even a little, you won't be honest with greater responsibilities. And if you are un, and if you are untrustworthy about worldly wealth, who will trust you with the true riches of heaven? Oh, yeah, because it's funny. The pastor did a whole series about this about stewards. Because after, like, when I was telling you how he dismissed the first um, leader of the church. Hold on, hold on. He did a whole series based on that. Really? Jakar, let me let me finish this one. I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. And if you're not faithful with other people's money, why should you be trusted with money of your own? I like how that translation says it, as opposed to King James. I like how translation more. It's easier to understand, but I like King James because it leaves me more to imagination, I guess. Yeah. For other points, I have that version too. I have every version on this on this book. Icon. James Lee. Oh yeah, I got it's new like songs so too. Not all of it really. I have to look at this one when something's like vague to me. Do you have like an actual Bible? Every, it's straightforward. Oh, I but some things it's are vague. Like I can get enough. Yeah, I have the Bible in your phone. Right? Yeah, yeah, I have the Bible in my phone. 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 Yeah, yeah, I gotta practice my Italian because there's so many Albanian supers and they speak Italian. So I'm like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta stop learning the Bible in Spanish. I can communicate better with my Spanish. And that's family. how I learned to read Spanish. By reading and that's how I learned to read Spanish. By reading the Bible. 